Hello out there and welcome to English Future Plays. We're here with 222, which is a new game. It's on Steam. And we're gonna play. And this is this is exactly where it loaded up. Um, I didn't start the game or anything. This is just this is where it started. So we're we're playing 222. Okay. Uh, there's whatever that is. Okay. Um Okay, so we don't want to run into the red lights. Enter again, or escape by. Okay, let's play again. I mean, great. We can't get up there. Okay, we'll just run along this wall. Found the edge, okay. So it said it was a shooter, but I don't have a gun. Okay, so they do they do come out to the wall. They're uh, they're hunting. They're doing some hunting, I guess. Um, oh, we found the edge again. Cool. We'll just keep walking along the edge. Yeah. All right, we are we are playing two two two, and so far. I am too annoyed to care about what's happening. I certainly have quite a, quite good air time. Okay, we found the other edge. Excellent. And we're back at the start. So the map's not actually very big. We'll just go. We'll go through the center of town, I guess. See what's in the center. Oh, we got out of the way. Nice. Good job, me. Yeah, we can jump onto this box, and we can jump onto this box. I saw this in the I saw this in the uh, the ad that there was some parkour. That this is this is the parkour. That, oh, this is the parkour that's available. Oh my god, it handles really terribly, as you can imagine. Okay. Cool. At least we know where the boxes are. Let's go find that content. We are gonna find the content. Okay, so there's a there's one that's coming this way. Yeah, I knew about that one. I could I could sense him. All right, we found the boxes. Okay. 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 All right. I don't know why we're doing this. I mean, I, the, there is really no reason for any of this, but we're doing it. Whatever the reason is, we're doing it. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, no. Oh, my God. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to fast forward because I don't want to waste your guys' time. I'm going to fast forward till I get past that one bit. So I made it past that one bit, and now we have to uh, start over again, I guess. I guess that's the, the fun of the game, the gameplay loop, is that we have to go and redo all the parkour we just did for whatever reason, because that's what the game actually is, is uh, a really terrible parkour game. Although I am getting better at it, so there's that. See, so we made it. Oh, but those things kind of come out of nowhere, so we just get killed. Um, I mean, five minutes of playing this game, and I've already put more time into it than has probably been put into the development of. So let's go look at the description because I'm I'm not going to do this anymore. All right, uh, two two two. Um, strange things are happening. Time to send tweets and kick ass, and we're all out of Wi-Fi. Take on hordes of enemies in this terrifying first-person shooter with an immersive and creepy atmosphere. I mean, I didn't even have a gun. There was no, there was nothing, there was no instructions. And I'm looking at the gameplay here, and it doesn't look immersive and creepy. It looks like you just dropped a bunch of enemies onto the onto the map. Yeah, so 
We're supposed to, so the whole game is jumping onto those 2-2-2 two, two, two things. And then, what, the enemies explode, are they filled with, they must be filled with gasoline. They're from a, they're from, uh... A planet or a moon that has a gasoline in the atmosphere. I mean, look at these screenshots, man. Why would you not want to play this? It's raining, it's dark, it's gray. Um, the enemies all look identical. It just, I am absolutely thrilled. And it's by David Mulder, um, which, okay. Um, right, jump scares and action all over the place. As many elements work together to bring you an experience that will send shivers down your spine. What? That none of that is true. There are no jump scares or action. There's just robots, and I'm I just I'm not gonna waste my time um, doing the parkour and stealth stuff when you haven't even bothered to put like a, a menu at the start. You know what I mean? You didn't even bother to put a menu or a title screen or anything. So why would I bother to play the game? You know, like. I mean, part of the reason that I, I do this is to find good games, but, like, if you're not going to put the effort in at the start, why would I continue to bash my head against the wall of your terrible game? Just saying. Um, it's not shooting all the time, either. You're only badass 50% of the time. The other 50%, you're either pretending to be good at parkour or more likely running away in terror. Right. Uh, I'm not trying to be good at parkour. It's bad. Um, satis satisfying guns with a Z and limited ammo. Use weapons wisely. Freaky creatures. Diverse levels. Creepy atmosphere. Spectacular explosions. Consequence. One hit death. Restart level on death. Three lives, then restart game. Great. What's the matter? Frayed? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so. Just to address this. Diverse levels. If you're going to say diverse levels, maybe include screenshots that don't look like you took them at the exact same spot. Just saying, this is not diverse. This is the opposite of diverse. Those explosions don't look cute, cool. They look muted and awful. Um, and the enemies are all just clones of each other. Who gives a crap about that? None of that is what you said. David Mulder, the developer. Right. So he's made lots of games. He made Not Without My Poop, which came out last year. Um, let's, let's organize this by date. Oops, no, I organized it by relevance. Release date. All right, so Hot Floor came out last year with seven user reviews. Someone recommended it. Not Without My Poop has 59 very positive. Excellent. The Paradox Wrench. I mean, and then he's got some uh, VR games, butterfly moments. I don't, look, I don't know, man. That's a chess game. Hover hazard. Yeah, it's like really hard to see what what this guy's actually good at. You know, it seems like he's just making a bunch of stuff. Smithy and Burst look pretty much identical. Mm. Eight mini racers. Okay, and Iran. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know what this guy's up to. I haven't played any of these games before, but uh, they don't, they don't. Any of them look like you know diamonds in the rough. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. If that makes sense. Oh, let's just click on this. There we go. Um, it currently costs $1.94, dollar ninety four, so that's the only good thing that I could say about this is that it's cheap. Um, so you know, people might buy into it. So at least, at the very least. He might get some sales from that. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm not, like, really interested in, in continuing. You know, there were no satisfying guns. I didn't have a gun. I didn't know where to get one. Look at that. There's just, like, a hundred dogs. So they're all identical. They all have the same animations. And they're all moving in lockstep with each other. That's not, that's not scary. That's just, like, a computer glitch. That's, you know... Maybe that would be weird in real life if, if that actually happened, but like, we're not, this is a video game, so we know that that's just bad, lazy programming. So, uh, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave that there. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, and check out 222 if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. And uh, what is it with the, the last couple of games all having uh, numbers for names? I'm just saying, not, you know, just an observation, not saying it's bad, just 
you know, what's the next one going to be? Could be more numbers. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Class dismissed.